A by-election will be held in Rutherglen and Hamilton West after enough voters signed a petition backing a vote. The current MP, Margaret Ferrier, was suspended from the House of Commons for breaking COVID rules. The former SNP MP has sat as an independent since being removed from the party. This will be the first recall by-election in Scotland. A political correspondent, Ewan Petrie, is at South Lanarkshire Council in Hamilton. So, Ewan, what happens now? Well, counting finished here at the council headquarters within the past hour or so. And shortly after that, we had confirmation that we will see the first recall by election here in Scotland. This is the seat of the former SNP MP, now former MP, Margaret Ferrier. She was suspended from the House of Commons for 30 days after travelling by train between London and Glasgow, despite testing positive for COVID back in 2020. That suspension triggered this peti petition, giving voters here the, the chance to demand a by-election. It needed 10% of the electorate to sign it. And in the end, uh, that threshold was comfortably reached. 11,900 people backed another vote. And that means that this constituency will head to the polls in the coming months. We need change in this area. Um, hopefully change the politics, maybe. Everybody else had to abide by the rules, and she broke the rules, so a by-election get somebody new in. I was trying to get a lot for rather than hearing that. But, eh, uh, no. I have no eh, no time for the election, you know what I mean? Going in the legal route is the right thing to do. Nothing to hide, nothing to fear. For people that lost relatives, it must have been absolutely sickening what she did. Absolutely sickening. So, Ewan, when is a vote likely to take place? Well, it's down to the party who held the seat to trigger the by-election officially, and the SNP have said that they won't be doing that until Westminster returns from its recess in September. So we're looking most likely at a vote sometime in October, and it's going to be a hugely significant contest for both Labour and the SNP. Both parties have already been out campaigning in this constituency. Hamza Yusuf and Anna Sarwar both paying multiple visits here. This will be Hamza Yusuf's first electoral test since he became leader in Labour. See this as an opportunity to add to his worries and gain momentum ahead of a general election next year. They need to overturn an SNP majority of more than 5,000. But if the SNP managed to hold on to this seat, it would put a serious dent in Labour's hopes of a revival. So a huge amount at stake for both parties in the coming months. Ewan and Hamilton, thank you.